Today we're going to talk a little bit about Brazil and why Brazilian tourism. Why do we think that Brazil is very important for the economic development of Georgia? Brazil is a very dynamic place. We've known for a long time that uh, Brazil was on the edge of an economic explosion. But it has happened now. And for those of you who have been recently, I think uh, you could sum up Brazil as being something akin to SimCity. Everyone knows SimCity, the game, when you're building things? Well, that's Brazil right now. Buildings are popping up left and right. But not only because of the events that are coming up here in the future, but because the economy is growing quick and fast. So this is bringing people from all around the world to do business in Brazil. But this money is creating a lot of jobs and a lot of opportunities for Brazilians to travel around the world. And that is really what we're talking about today. Brazilians traveling around the world. So the case for Brazil. First thing we're going to talk a little bit about is why international tourism. A lot of people ask, well, well what is tourism? Do I, you know, am I just going online? Am I just uh, booking something? Uh, what is tourism? Well, tourism can be sending people outbound outside of the U.S. or it could be receiving people. In this case, we're talking about receiving people into Georgia. But international tourism is a very special part of the economy because international tourism has diverse needs in the market, which means that if you have a product, whether you are a shopping mall, you are a restaurant, you are a hotel, you are a tour operator receptive, you are a uh, consultant, you have an opportunity to participate in international tourism because the needs are diverse. Another reason, and this is uh, my favorite reason personally, is that uh, international visitors in 2010 spent $76.5 billion here in the United States. That is a lot of job creation. We don't have the 2011 numbers right now. We're expecting that they'll be easily over 80. And we fully believe that we will pass 100 billion by 2015. So this is a, a huge area, this is a huge opportunity that we have if we play in this market. Also, international tourists stay longer and spend more than their domestic counterparts. We love, we absolutely love domestic tourism in the state of Georgia. But if a person comes to Atlanta, they may stay a night or two, right? And then they go home, whether it's New York or whether it's Birmingham or LA or Jacksonville, Florida, but they'll go home after a day or two. They'll drop a little money, and we love when they do that, but then they're gone. The international types, well, they're usually going to come over for a week and a half up to one month. Hotels, restaurants, cars, tours, and with tours, you know, that's, that's buses, that's guides, that's attractions, that's entries. They're going to drop a lot of money. So you actually need less international tourists to make more money than you would a domestic type of tourist. International tourism right now is responsible for almost 11% of all tourism in Georgia. Imagine that. Almost 11% of the money that we have for tourism here in the state of Georgia is coming from outside of the country. Last year, we set a record. We had an increase of 15.9% increase in international tourism. That was on USA Today. That was on MSNBC. That was on Fox News. And they all wanted to know nationally, what is Georgia doing? Not a lot. This is not rocket science. It's actually a lot of fun, what we're doing. And that's what we're going to be getting into today. But the last case for international tourism is that it helps you recession-proof your business. Because our domestic market goes up and it goes down, right? And lately, it's been a little bit more down than up. But we do see a trend going up. But it hasn't been like it was in 2007. Well, since 2007. 
But if you work in the international market, there is no recession. This is a bull market. This is where you can grow. And of course, we're talking Brazil. And when I say that we can grow, this is because the Brazilian economy is growing as a whole. Brazil is not just growing in tourism. Brazil is growing its uh, factories, are putting out more cars. Its farms are putting out more soil, soy. It's producing more oil. It's utilizing more natural gas. It's building more buildings. If you have it, do you remember how it was in America, or at least we read about it, if you make it, they will come? Well, today, if you make it, you really have to sweat hard for people to come. In Brazil, if you make it, they will come. There are more people than they actually have services for. Right now, has anyone tried to book a flight to Brazil lately? It's a pretty cheap flight, isn't it? About fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars if you're lucky. Two thousand dollars if you're going in high season. Remember what that was three years ago? Nine hundred, eight hundred sometimes. There are too many people. So they're putting more airplanes, more and more airplanes. In fact, I've heard that Delta is putting the 747 down to Sao Paulo now to try and add in additional 150 seats a day. There's more people. Build it and they will come. And so the Brazilian economy is growing crazy. There is no recession if you get into the Brazilian economy. 